While Republican chaos has been paralyzing Washington, deep in the heart of Texas, Republicans are hard at work in trapping women seeking to get an abortion out of state. All that and more now on Draft's Grievances. House Republicans finally electing a Speaker of the House after three weeks of chaos that left the chamber without a leader and unable to function. But while they were hashing out their petty grievances in the most embarrassing and shameful of manners, Republicans in Texas were hard at work legislating. Four counties in the Lone Star State passing legislation to try and prevent women from traveling out of Texas to have an abortion. Texas, already one of 13 states that bans the medical procedure at all stages of pregnancy. But apparently that level of control over women was not enough for some Texas Republicans. The new local ordinances make it illegal for anyone to help transport a pregnant woman through their county for the purpose of seeking an abortion. The diabolical restrictions also prevent anyone from helping pay for a woman to travel for an abortion. And with several more counties in Texas expected to implement similar laws in the coming months, this assault on basic human rights is only set to grow. As for whether these laws will be found to be constitutional remains to be seen, but they will no doubt intimidate women across Texas from seeking abortions in places where it remains legal. This growing reproductive prison in Texas, coming despite the state's booming economy, increasing diversity, and exponential population growth. Texas, now officially the eighth largest economy in the world, with a workforce of more than 15 million people. In addition, for the second consecutive year, Texas leads the nation with the most Fortune 500 companies the annual ranking of the largest businesses in the U.S. by revenue. This massive Texas economy being fueled by migration to the state from other parts of the U.S. and Central and South America. For the first time last year, Texas crossing a new population threshold with more than 30 million people. Only California has more residents. And, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, Latinos now outnumber white residents in the state. These stunning statistics not only make it hard to understand why Texas Republicans have been so successful at extinguishing reproductive freedom, but also exemplify how many people could eventually be impacted by this tyrannical government overreach. One has to imagine that eventually Republicans in Texas will pay a price at the polls for this extreme cruelty cloaked in religiosity. But until then, it would seem incumbent on those 55 Fortune 500 companies based in Texas and frankly all business owners in the state to speak up and speak out. How can they be expected to hire the best people if as a condition of employment in Texas, employees must relinquish their right to get an abortion, not to mention freely travel out of Texas. And while it is true that well-off and well-educated Texans will be able to figure out a way to get an abortion if they choose to have one, this is also about protecting the rights of children who have been raped and the millions of Texans who live in poverty. Thank you for watching Graphs Grievances. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, share, and join me tomorrow for more.